Pooch. We're bringing it. Let me see those hands up A dollar in the dreams All you need to succeed, please We're the Bludge Music And you're tuned in to the Media B Show On Evolve Radio 247.com Wow So you're checked into the Media B With Evolve Radio 247.com's Exclusive interview with Blush Music Thank you ladies so much for sitting down with me I know you guys had a long, busy, busy day <laughs> So please introduce yourselves all right, what up? I'm Sunny. Hi, I'm Tally. I'm Funny Ray. And, and we are Flush Music with three H's. <laughs> yes, I love the three H's. Thank you, thank you. I like that. You Did you want to explain? <laughs> thank you so much. You girls are gorgeous. Thank, thank you. you, by the way. Natural, natural beauties here. So how did you guys come up with the name Blush Music? Oh, funny story. <laughs> okay, well, Miss Sunny, of course, she founded the group, and seven years ago, she found me on Facebook. <laughs> I was in school, and, you know, um, we needed a name for the group. She had, of course, the Grandmaster Plan, which she could tell you about the founding of the group. But uh, she really trusted me with the creative aspect, and she was like, you know, we need a name to go by. So, you know, girls in their bags and their makeup. I carried my makeup in my bag, and I dropped it, the bag, and it was a blush palette in there that broke on the dollar, the last dollar to my name. So, Hip Hop Trio, you know, we're saying blush is on the money. I'm mm -hmm. playing around, and we're like, whoa, that's a cool name. It's kind of going against the grain, too. I rhymed. <laughs> it's, going, it's going against the grain because people see us and they're like, y'all are hip hop, y'all are two rappers and a vocalist. Didn't expect, you know, a blush name, yeah. so feminine. But we were like, we're going to make that make you blush music and then we have the acronym for it. We wanted it to mean more and it means beauty lives under stoned hearts. Which is why he has the three H's for the three stones. And we do the shh because we also believe we're the secret to come. Yay. And you can also be pop heroes. Yay. That's our hashtag. Cool. Three H's. So yeah, the name just evolved. It's just we make people blush. You're blush. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels good. Feels yes. Good. So Sunny, seven years ago you founded the group. What ideas did you have for this group with you being an MC? Did you always knew you wanted to have like the little vocal, the vocal aspect, or mainly hip hop, rap? Like, what was your initial ideas? The initial idea, which is still it, it was one to, you know, to do something different and two, to be on stage with, you know, in the beginning it was like, you know, I want to be on stage with someone else, who wants to be on stage with me, like, I want to do this, you know what I'm saying, like, I wanted to, I wanted to have sisters and I wanted to have a group and I wanted it to be hip hop, but I knew how important melody was, yes. and so that was the whole reason why I searched for, well, we searched for a vocalist and that was the reason why it was so important to have someone with such strong creative, like, I guess, juices like she had because when she came in, it was like everything just made so much more sense. Like, so much more sense. <laughs> They're like, it's it more was like the bars. Missing. It's, yeah, because like, you know, when female and you're rapping, you just want everyone to just hear your bars. Yeah. And then you be down to the chorus and the hook, and it's always just simple. <laughs> it's like no thought into it. Yeah. You know what For I mean? But it's like, she brought a different creative aspect to it. And ever since then, things have just went, you know. Skyrocketed so. So you found Tally. Yes. And then how on Facebook. On Facebook. Yes. And funny, how did you come to, to meet these ladies? Well, the girls found me on Instagram. Funny story. Well, I kind of found them too. So I kinda like, we found each other. We found each other. They um, were looking for a group member, of course, and they were like, you know, uh, they made a post on Instagram saying like, you know, hypothetically, if we could have anyone in the group, you know, who would it be? So I went and I double tapped everything on the page. I didn't comment, but I double tapped everything. And, um, you know, I didn't expect them to inbox me that same exact night. They had, we were like, yeah, let's set up a phone combo. So I talked to the girls. And they were like, yeah, let's meet up at Music Row, which is where, you know, that's the Music Row campus. And so that's where we record, where we rehearse, everything like that. So I meet them there, and just off the jump, like, it's just like great energy and good vibes. And they played me like this whole mixtape that they had before I came, and I was like, this is so dope. Like, they stand for exactly what I stood for, and it's all positivity. And that was really hard for you to, it's hard for you to find nowadays with young females, so I felt like that was that was a goal for me. So ever since then, it's been bonding, artist development for two years, yeah. and you know, 
were you always uh, MC rapping when you were young? Yeah, definitely. Same thing for you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, well, <laughs> well, mine started out as me, you know, growing up in a household of siblings. We would always joke around and things like that and just freestyle and do little, you know, funny things like that. And in Houston, we have 97 on the box who has, like, their little freestyle, like, Friday session, okay. da, da 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 you know. They would play, like, a little beat. And then they would have, like, different people call in and, like, you oh, know, okay. rap on the beat. So, yes. So, we wouldn't call in because the lines were always so busy, but my sister had like this little boombox, so we recorded on the on the cassette tape, so we record our voices over the beat, which was kind of cool, so I was like, okay, that's, that's pretty cool, so we would play around like that, and that's kind of how I found my niche for it, and then when I met them, and Mr. Knowles, he brought the confidence out, and was like, okay, you got this, like, you can do this, you can take this and go all the way. Cool. Well, I know lyrically your only MCs are probably much, always, pretty much always been writers. How about you with your lyrics? Do you write like all your music? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we write everything. Yeah, uh, I've been doing music since I was three years old. Like, my mom says, she remembers. <laughs> it reminds me all the time. The first song I sung was Michael Jackson, You Were Not Alone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I've been singing nonstop. That's how she found me, actually, on Facebook. My name was, it had my first name, then it had Best Singer. <laughs> and then my last <laughs> name, I branded yeah. myself. But yeah, I was that girl that was annoying and always singing and wouldn't stop. And I still am. It pays off. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are signed to Music Group, um, which is Matthew Knowles' uh, label. How has it been working with him and mentoring under him? It's been great. Um, it's amazing. You know, he's very legendary. He has a lot of knowledge and he passes that knowledge along to us. And a good track record. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, you know, I did kind of make it a number one female in the of our generation. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's crazy because we get to, you know, hear experiences and hear stories and we feel, you know, like their family to us too. And we've met Kelly, you know, she's great. So sweet. Beautiful soul. Um, We've you know been been able to see Beyonce live in concert. You know it's all about learning from the great. So we got to go and learn from her and see a concert from her. And he's all about teaching. And you know he's not only a, a manager, he's an entrepreneur. He's a professor. So everything's a learning lesson. Mm -hmm. And he's really just pushing us and motivating us and putting us on that platform to let us know like y'all are great. Y'all 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 have it. Like he's all about motivating us and he's a great person to have behind us and we're thankful and we're very humble and excited to be in this just excited the world is about to hear our music and to yes. be traveling, to be doing everything, like, yeah. it's a yes. blessing. Well not only is this track record for discovering super talent, um, legendary his boot camps are legendary also can you guys tell me a little bit about like the boot camps what had a little bit about what your training has been like for the last few years Ooh, girl. <laughs> me. well it is music world entertainment and it is all of that everything it takes to be the best and I've, he knows that he's done it before so he has to do it again mm -hmm. and he has to do it even better in his mind because he's very competitive with himself mm -hmm. <laughs> a perfectionist and yeah. we're the same which is weird so boot camp when he told us the list of everything <laughs> it's when you have to tough. debunk something was there jogging while singing in, in hills? hills yes and there was weight loss too that well, yeah, there was, was weight, weight loss, loss. There was they like, who's like, gonna check eating like, hey. different. We yeah. had to, you know, rehearsal six, seven days a week, you know, seven, eight hours a day, um, vocal training, breathing for us, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, everything down to, to, to bonding, down to, like, do you really want this, like, it's really, you know, he knows we have the passion, but it's like, I'm gonna let y'all drive y'all's passion. Like, I, you know, cause at the end of the day, it's all on us mm -hmm. to make this move and make this go. And that was a part of our development, being able to develop ourselves into the artists that we want people to see. And we put a lot of work in with, you know, amongst ourselves and he just really, you know, kept pushing us. It was like, you know, making, I'm gonna give you this beat, you know, make me a hit. And we keep coming with all these songs. And come to find out, he really loves all the songs we give him, but he just keep pushing us to see, can y'all really keep coming <laughs> with something different? Out. We like that, you know, I like our songs. <laughs> but that's not it, he just wants to test you and keep pushing you, so. It's been amazing. That we're still developing, we're out of artist development, but we're still developing. Yeah. So, yeah. That's so, you know, you guys are going to get all the comparisons. Of course, the Destiny's Child, TLC. I actually like the TLC comparison, I do. <laughs> I know you 
you, even though you guys have two MCs, like mm -hmm. that's cute to me. Um, but who do you guys listen to today? today? Not that who do you compare yourself today, but who do you like listening to today? Like when you turn on or when you have a chance to buy a CD and listen, who is it? Uh, Currently, um, <laughs> I'm a, I like Drake. I do. Okay. Uh, I listen to Drake. I've been on a Kevin Gates free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gabe give me live, like, you know, um, but um, I mean, I still, when I'm alone or when I'm, I still jam my Lauryn Hill, my Tupac, okay. my Queen, my MC, like, J. Cole, Kendrick, so, I mean, those are pretty much on my playlist. Yeah. How about you, Tally? <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to start with today's, because <laughs> of course, Chance the Rapper, I feel like he's awesome. Um, I'm gonna have to say Jesse J. Okay, I'm a yes. Sam Smith fanatic. Mm -hmm. uh, I've just started listening to Flume and uh, yes. 21 Pilots. I have a yes. wide I range that. of people I listen to. Um, and I'm a big fan of Michael Jackson. I have to put on my Destiny's Child and Beyonce to remember why where H Town is. <laughs> And um, I'm, I'm a fan of Sade. She just gets my mind right. And then when I know it, what brings me home to the hip hop group, Bone Thugs and Harmony, because I'm a recognizing mm -hmm. son of a gun. So. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So, yes. That, that's mine. It's funny. All right. So with today's music, I'm a die, die hard fan of Kanye. Like, he's so dope to me. So creative, mm -hmm. I should say. Um, I listen to Schoolboy Q. I like ASAP. I dig the whole vibe. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, yeah, Chance the Rapper, definitely. I think we all forget We all jam him, yeah. <laughs> uh, just to name a few. Uh, funny, nothing really comes to mind right now. I like Nikki. She's cool. I mm -hmm. like her a lot. Mm -hmm. um, what about the boy group you like? Flatbush. Oh, and I jam Flatbush Zombies. Cause, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're kind of underground. I've heard of them yet. Dope. I'm going to check them out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Upcoming. They're pretty dope. Okay. I, I, I like them a lot. And so, yeah. But, um, you know, as far as you want to go back, uh, I I do love Left Eye. I do look up to her. Lil' Kim. I love her sex appeal. She's mm -hmm. just awesome to me. Um, the Brett. Yes. Uh, you want to go Ice Cube? You want to go the whole NWA so route? Yeah, we can do that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just to name a few. So yeah, Twista. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and then group wise, we listen to Jim's Diary every once in a while. And Fifth Harmony. Yeah, we do. Yes. And then OC. We got to go OC. This is Child. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Another girl group. I mean, you have the Fifth Harmony, but I think you guys are really embalming that that girl group, that girl. The bond, three. yeah, the three, yeah. the magic number of the, three. of the threes. So you have your hit single out, bring the old school back. Yeah. How has that been putting that out? And and have you heard it yet? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, we haven't had a chance to catch the radio because every time we're at the radio station. Yeah. So we, like, we, we never have the been radio. like. We, we have other people who have sent us them in the car and, yeah. to, and you know <laughs> getting it on the radio. Yeah, but we have yet to catch it. We so we're it. waiting on that moment. Did you know Old School Back was gonna blow up like this, take off so quickly? Um, Mr. Nose obviously didn't because in his eyes he's like, man, like this is happening so quick. Like this, you know, it hasn't happened this way in a long time. Mm -hmm. And he's been really excited and we've been really excited. You know, we're new into this, so we don't know how quickly this is happening. We're like, well, what's, you know, what's quick, what's not quick? So we're getting told that it's been a lot of blessings that came our way that a lot of people in our position wouldn't be able to get. So it's very humbling and we just keep on doing what we doing and people keep taking us and we get positive feedback and I think people are ready. I think people are ready yeah. for a track like Old School Back. I think that's what it is, yeah. you know. And then to have it wrapped it's up in you three, that's just yeah. even better. Yeah. He calls it the giddy up whoa. <laughs> it's like nothing's happening. Yes. And then all of a sudden it's bam, bam, bam. So the bam 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 we've been on the road. Bam 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 promo. So. Since since the radio, mm -hmm. since the singer really hit radio, he's been on the road. Yes. Well, um, is there going to be a next single, an album? What's what's the next thing to be released from you guys? Uh, we have more music coming. We don't have a set date on when it will be released, but it's 
It's definitely coming really soon. Like, you know, you got to get old school back to bone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's just sit on it real yeah, quick. Yeah, let's marinate but we yes. we ain't gonna be too long. We gonna get it. Yeah. Did you enjoy shooting in the video? I know Matthew Knowles oh, uh, directed it. it. So mm -hmm. how was that? Experience. Funny. Getting hit. We never got to see yes. him in director form. We loved it. It was really <laughs> it was cool fun, shooting it because you know, of course, we took the five elements of hip hop and we kind of meshed yes. it with the original Crush on You video. Mm -hmm. So just to be able to do that and like just embody the fur and the glasses and the fun makeup and costumes yeah. and whatever yeah. else they had for us. It, it was really nice and just having that whole day of just feeling like a star. We were literally going from video shoot to photo shoot, video shoot, go Back shoot this photo, scene, photo yeah. shoot. You know, yeah. so just to get that feeling and to be with the girls and vibe and bond and just just feel the essence of everything. It was really nice. Like it was one point where Tally was watching Sunny shoot her scene in front of the DJ that you oh, see yeah. right yeah. there. And she's like I started crying. She's like, like, she's like we did it. Like this is <laughs> a like, no your makeup, your we're makeup. Like, wait, 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 wait. This don't is the do moment it. I waited for for yes. seven years. Yeah. 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 And so just seeing that all come together in full circle because before I had even met the girls and things like that, you know, you hear things around town and then and then actually being around them and then all these people are walking up to y'all, but it's such good reputations, you know, they built such a good reputation around Houston. It was just like, yeah. I'm happy to be a part of this. And it just all came full circle that day. Like you just saw all these people, hey, what's up, Sunny Tell you know, they hitting us up that day. It was just so cool to just be around that. It yeah. was really cool. And we had like our number one fan in the video. Yeah. They're our number one fans. They got their cameo. They got their cameo. <laughs> hey. Yeah. number one fans. <laughs> well, yeah, tell me a little bit about your, your families, your home life. Like, how's your, your support system at home? Ooh, we are our support system. <laughs> we all have families, of course, but for the most part, we all think support each other. We're with each other more than our families. Mm -hmm. um, we pretty much, when we're not at practice, we try to, where you going? What are you doing? All right, I'm coming. What you wanna do is go to the movie, like movie dates. We mm -hmm. go on movie dates with each other a lot. Um, There's a lot of plans. There's a group message where it's like, okay, movies today. She'll send a full list of movies. Which one you wanna see? <laughs> what time you wanna see it? And then it's like the list is so, it goes from what Bunny would like, what I would like, what she would like. And you gotta look at it like, okay, what would we all enjoy? So you gotta choose the most mm -hmm. combined movie. Yes. yes. We, 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 we make sure we spend time with one another outside of the music. Okay. You, know, you need that. And so, our, our support system, uh, I will say, no matter where we were at, because you know, when you're young and you have to get that approval, mm -hmm. definitely even in school, it, it, it was tough. And they, they really they really supported us, because yeah. we're here. Yes. So, even definitely. though it was rough, we have to give them the support yeah. hard, because we're here right. today. They sacrificed. All they, of our family sacrificed for us to get where we are. Yeah, yeah right. whether it's... <laughs> I'm gonna sacrifice my opinion on what I feel you should be doing. Yeah. That's a sacrifice. Sacrificing, oh, I'm really supposed to be spending my money right here, but right. you know what? I'm not need car, this. My yes. <laughs> you lost this in the okay. All right. Right. Okay, you guys were talking about movies. I'm a horror fan, so which one of you is the, the horror fan? <laughs> hey, scary. We hate scary movies. And it's this is how we, I have to see. Every time. Drag us every time. We need to be a movie grill, you get the food. Yeah, we have to eat and do the movie. So okay. we got a regular movie. So, yeah. what, then you get people because of the way we look, they think it's either, oh, y'all looking like y'all sisters are, who's dating? Yeah. Well, we can't be friends anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, but it's yeah. this day and age. This day and age, yes. But the, the movies, we all, I'm, y'all, scary movie. Like, actually, last night, I was trying to keep us up, which is probably why we didn't get any sleep. I could find a scary movie. <laughs> That is so mean. And they found this movie about so zombie Nazi. Nazi zombies. <laughs> Killing everybody. They're like, really? Like, taking hearts out and stuff. I'm like, even the bad scary movies I have to watch. Even the bad ones. Even sometimes, too. They're still scary. It was interesting. Me and Sunday like, ew, she's like, oh, that's funny. I'm like, you want to go with a whole kid's heart out. Just, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I just like to be scared. Funny. What are you guys' talents, like, outside of music? Anything that you like to do, any hobbies, anything if this all fell through tomorrow you would do? Now, I mean, all my hobbies pretty much consist around my music, you know, my writing, uh, my, my, my MC, my performing, I mean, everything is her sleeping. Sleeping. music. Sleeping yeah. consists. Maybe my sleeping. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a hobby. That's a good hobby. It's more like a <laughs> 
Sunny like a ski. Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> like a ski, because I could just <laughs> go to sleep. You have to. With you guys big busy schedules, you have to get to sleep in when you can. How about yourself? Um my hobbies do like you contribute know, to the they group. contribute. It's like, you know, what's the, the little grounds you have to do in school in English class and you have to go out from it, the spider web. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 I do graffiti, I do beatboxing for fun, which I didn't know would be turned into something we perform oh, with. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, stuff like that, artsy work. I'm very on the creative aspect with things. I like to be a daredevil, and that still kind of goes into yeah. the bonding and the funny mm -hmm. things. Oh, yeah. I like the style, but she does. I, that came into a play a lot in the, in the past. It's not as much now, but that was kind of one. She's like, oh, I'm, I got, I'm good now. I don't got. I'm a great no online more. shopper. Like, <laughs> give me some money, and I got you. You'll be sick. She, she her stuff could be the most <laughs> expensive, like. See, it's not good. With. I know how to do good thrift and vintage shopping. Okay. Yeah. So it looks expensive. It looks That's expensive. But, but, even, but even when it's not supposed to be expensive, it's expensive. <laughs> you get the highest price thing pool. In the whole thrift store. Accurate. Yes. <laughs> but um, and it's going to look good. It's mm -hmm. not bad, right? It was $50 socks. <laughs> you know. How about you, Bunny? I like to eat. <laughs> and I love makeup. Like, I love yeah. all things dealing with makeup. I like pampering. Like, which help us yeah, out with our girly makeup. stuff, She's like going to, to the nail shop. I I like the nail shop when Relaxing, I get to go. Yeah. I like to get my lashes done, stuff like that. That's me. Yes, we just call her. She didn't got her nails done and be one way. You have an upcoming album that you're currently working on. It's actually finished live. It's finished live. See, finish we don't life. stop recording. Okay. Yeah. And Ain't no telling how long this album gonna be. <laughs> I'm like, it's so pick and track. Yeah, it's like every time. It's so, so addy. Yeah. And, it's and so hard. That's a good thing. It's a good, yeah, it's so it's many to choose from. It's a good sign. It's so much good feedback yeah. from mm -hmm. the, the and we focus groups. And we were expecting groups. it. That's the crazy part. And we want to do something different on how we release it. Yeah. You know, we're all about doing something different. But it, it has a great theme behind it. Yes. I don't think that theme is ever going away. <laughs> ever, no. It's but always us. It, it's, it's pretty exciting and we can't wait because we, you know, once people hear the single, yeah, they're going to be like, dang, this album, I'm looking forward to it. You know, you have some albums where it's like two songs. That you bought the album for? Yes. You yeah. Because you were supposed to like the nine trackers. And then the eight two. trackers. Of the yeah. Nah. Yeah. I'm going to so confidently do say that. no. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be you that one. I feel like every mm -hmm. single might be that hit for you. You might get tired of shooting music videos by the time you're done. <laughs> my, you know, we have different, my weakness is photo shoots. Mine is too. I like video shoots. Mm -hmm. I could turn to a whole other person because I'm moving. Yeah. yeah when I'm still, it's like I gotta think too hard. Yeah. <laughs> and like, what's the shot I want you to take? With yeah. Me to take like, I'm the thing that requires me to get beautified. I like yeah. it. Yeah, that's her thing. When you first go set, you ready. I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm, I'm like a reverb, a delay. Like the 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 pose I wanted you to have, you know, already took the shot, and I'm like, wait, that's and not what I just wanted you to have. Now, now I'm hitting it, and you taking it, mm -hmm. and I'm like, like, just give me a fan and a mic. Here we go. <laughs> if you can take my photo shoot of me performing, yeah, I'm great. That's fine. Yeah. So we're working on that. We're working on that. <laughs> good, good. It's a life. Yes. But this we do love. Like. We love the interviews. interviews. Yeah, interviews are They're fun. fun. They're yeah. so fun. We probably talk too much. We talk too much. No. I just want to know. I'm waiting on somebody to tell us. <laughs> do you guys like to be personal with like your fans? Yeah. We kind of have to. We about to do a reality show. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, yeah. 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 Are you shooting that now? Currently, it's, we're we're about to start shooting. Okay. We've just We've been had, finalized. Yeah, finalized man. And it's pretty official. It's pretty, it's pretty big. Pretty <laughs> big. Pretty How big. has that been? How has it been getting used to like? I know you respect this life. This is what you signed up for. But you know, reality TV is a whole other animal. It's the camera always there. When we first seen ourselves, because they did the trailer, and when we first seen ourselves, it was like, man. I feel like it's uh, it goes in the order of nah, nervous. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. You're just gonna okay. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, and it's like yeah. excited. Then. And I think we're at that point where we're excited because mm -hmm. we went through the. You know, you have to do the, the trailer. 
yeah. and you're nervous because you're like, oh, there's cameras everywhere. There's cameras everywhere. everywhere. And and you, like, I can't you, tell like, you don't get my want, good angle. And I can't tell you I don't want to talk right now. I don't feel like filming this. Like, and that's the hardest thing. And that's you're what they explain You're going to catch me with my edges not done in the morning. I know. <laughs> like, you're going to catch me with my glasses on. Like, oh, you're going to catch me with my deep voice in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and then my voice is done. You guys have to be excited with, you know, that show is going to give the fans a chance to really know who you guys really are. Yeah. And that's what we're excited. really yeah, we, excited about. We had to remind and be reminded, reminded each other and had to be reminded that it's not a reality show about Sunny, Tally, and Bunny Ray. Yeah. It is a docudrama of but blush music of and their path. Yes. Okay. Like what you didn't get to see of Destiny's Child. The, yes. How they get on stage. What did they do to prep? What were they doing behind stage while I was in the audience? Mm -hmm. That type of stuff. And, and that's what we're kind of be able to give. Yeah. And make them feel connected to each one of our stories and yes. each one of our struggles. And we want to inspire other people to be groups. Other males, females, yeah. males and females. Definitely. We need more of that unity. So yeah. they're going to see that we did it with three different people. <laughs> That's what we're, yeah, that's our biggest thing being able, like I said, for people to see and have faith and have hope because we all have different stories. We all come from different places and we've all made this work and made this happen. Yeah. And, yes. yeah. and how it's staying happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the struggle that happens and how we overcome it. It's not always going to be perfect. You're going exactly. to have a drama. Not. You're going to disagree. And But you're always going to see unity at the end of the day. And you're going to see the, 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 the artist development too. Yeah. Yeah. The, the weight loss. Yeah. Like we had to lose you some keep, weight. You and keep, you keep bringing up the weight. <laughs> 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 30 pounds each, like that, that's a major, that's yes. like a mid-year. No, I don't like to eat too. And I'm still working on it. Yes, you, you know, the toning stage. Yeah. You just get to see like the build-up to our shows, like what, what, how do you prep for the show? How do you come down right. from the show? Yeah. How do you, you know, and, and I think that's really cool for everyone to kind of see that. And maybe they won't be so afraid to follow their dreams. Yeah. Maybe they'll be like, okay. They can do it, let's do it, you know? Or they might just think it's all glitz and glamour, but no. It's not. Uh, no, because it's not. This isn't your path, but like, you just, you know? Spicy. And that, that we kind of have no filter. Yeah. yeah, we gotta work on that. That's that's what we're working on. Yeah. No, I kind of think the best, the the most successful stars are the ones that that give us a little bit. You know, not everything, but a little bit of yeah, that pers you personality. Keep, you give what you want people to see. Yeah. You keep some of yourself for your sanity, mm -hmm. for your, your personal connection, of course. Just a little for yourself. You gotta say some, it's personal to you, you know. <laughs> but we we already understood what we need to give and what we don't need to run from. Now if there is a moment where it's just really like we need our time. That's something we always promise ourselves is okay. this is a blush moment and <laughs> no cameras allowed because okay. this I is how we keep really us nip tight. Right. Yeah. Nothing gets in between this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think. That's what they'll be able to see in respect. The sisterhood. Yeah. No, that's a group that's gonna last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the reality. We're Blush Music, and you're listening to Evolve Radio 247.com. Keys and I'ma pull up and act like this. You about to witness some kind of You just got the buzz. You just got the buzz. You just got the buzz. Now go follow the media. Be on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Stay up on all the latest news on Evolve Radio 247.com.